what's up guys and welcome back to my channel your girl has been MIA and that is because I've been super busy with doctor appointments and this week was also my daughter's first week back to school so I thought I'd give you guys a clean and motivation video but also show you guys my daughter's first day back so we woke up and made breakfast. I made her pancakes and sausage. Of course, I made some for me and my husband as well. He always takes off on her first day of school so that he can take her there and pick her up. And of course, I wanted to share a lunch idea with you guys. So here's her lunch box. This is her little thermos. I actually bought this last year from Walmart. It's under $20. Today we are going to pack her some spaghetti to eat for lunch and it's leftovers from dinner the night before so super easy. What you want to do to keep the spaghetti warm is preheat your thermos and you're going to do that by pouring boiling water in the thermos and letting it set for five minutes before draining. And then of course I packed her some applesauce, a go-gurt, and then in this little sandwich container, I packed her a piece of bread so that she can put butter on it, which I will pack as well for her. And then for a little chocolatey snack, I packed her Nutella and then some little Nella cookies to dip in there. And then of course a Yoohoo. So we're going to go ahead and get everything all packed up. She does have lunch like an hour and a half after school starts, so her food is always warm. So I do get a ton of use out of this little thermos. I try to pack her as many warm lunches as I can. And then here she is already showing off her little socks. So we went ahead and dropped her off to school. In the first week, we both take her every day. And so now that we're back home, I do have some cleaning to do, but I just wanted to share a belly bump update with you guys. I'm pretty big. I'm in my last couple weeks of pregnancy. I'm having back-to-back -back weekly appointments now, and things are moving pretty quickly. So you guys know that I have been cleaning at night but during the day, I do straighten up my mobile home. I don't really do any deep cleaning, but we wake up, we use the kitchen. So I wanted to wipe everything down in here and disinfect. And so that's exactly what we're doing. I'm just spraying my counters down with Lysol. So for the most part, the house does tend to stay a little bit more tidy now that my daughter is back in school but of course to maintain it i've still got to wipe things down sweep swiffer all that good stuff and that way the house is real clean whenever she gets home as well and so i've got this little water bottle filled up with some cut up oranges and lemons and i've been using that to put in my diffuser and it really does make the house smell so good and so now I'm just scrubbing out my sink. I did have a ton of dishes to do. I went ahead and knocked those out. And I'm scrubbing the sink out real good now because I do plan on opening up all of my baby bottles and nipples. And I'm going to let them soak in some soapy water and air dry. So I want to make sure the sink is good and clean before I do that. And yes, I do have a new little scrub brush. This scrub brush is actually from the Dollar Tree and you can change out the heads on it. And I just love the way it works. It's got the little handle that you can hold on to. You can also fill it with cleaner. I just went ahead and filled it with water and then just put the dish soap in the sink. And so now I'm just wiping up all of the extra suds and bubbles. I tend to make a mess and I always get my shirt soaked because my belly's in the way. So this is the little cabinet that I've got set up for the baby so far. I've just got all of his little kitchen stuff in here. 
and in this blue tote I've got all of his bottles and nipples so we're just gonna take this out and we're gonna go ahead and fill the sink up with some really warm water and then the dish soap I usually wash my stuff in bleach but I'm not gonna add anything with the bottles we're just gonna take everything apart everything is still in plastic and I'm just gonna let these soak in here for about 10 to 15 minutes so I'm not really sure but I'm pretty sure this is the start of my nesting stage I just feel like I need to get everything for the baby ready and I've been literally keeping up with the house every single day I can't seem to set still long enough I just feel like my mind is going and I'm trying to prepare and be ready because you never know anything can happen last minute and I don't want to go into the hospital with so much stuff on my mind that I feel like I should have done or could have done so I'm just trying to knock a few little things out a day so that way I'm prepared and yes I do have a rack for the bottles but I didn't want to open that up just yet. I want to keep that in the packaging. So I'm just going to use my dish mat to set all of these on and let them air dry. And I did have these exact bottles with Harmony when she was little. I forgot exactly how many pieces these actually came with and how much of a hassle they are to clean. But these are my absolute favorite bottles. So I feel like they're really worth it. So now that that's done, I've just got all the bottles and all the pieces that go to the bottle. It's just set in here air drying. And then once they're dry, I'll put them away. But first, I'm going to take the trash out. It was super full. And then I've just got my Lysol again. I'm just wiping down my little kitchen Allen. You'd be surprised how dirty these two shelves get. I'm constantly wiping them down, and since they're white, everything shows up on them. And then, of course, even though I swept last night before bed, I did not swiffer. I have been laying off on that when it comes to nighttime cleaning. I like vacuum up the floors, and I'll sweep real good, and then I'll just save the mopping or swiffering for the next day. So before I can Swiffer, I'm just going in with the broom and I'm giving everything a good sweeping only because I do have pets and they tend to shed a lot of hair. And I'm not sure if anyone noticed, but I did go ahead and paint the top of these stools black. A lot of people suggested that in the comments instead of them being white. So I ended up doing it and I like them much better. And then I went ahead real quickly and just swiffered off of camera and lit me a candle. So now the kitchen's all put together. I will not be in here or touch it until dinner time now. So now we're just gonna move on into the living room. So I'm actually just gonna take these off of the couch I gave my dogs a bath last night before I straightened up my mobile home, so the throws need to be cleaned. So I'm going to just toss those in the washer, and then I'm just spot cleaning the couch. So I've soaked this rag in some Pine Allen, it smells really good, and I'm just lightly wiping the fabric to keep the fabric smelling fresh. and then. I'm also spraying it down with the Unstoppables Febreze. This is my favorite smell. And then again, I've got the broom and I'm just sweeping everything up. I love to use the broom on my area rugs because it really pulls up that pet hair that wants to stick to it. And when you first glance at my floors, they look really clean, but look at all of this that I'm sweeping up. And remind you guys, I do sweep daily, but I do have two dogs and two cats, so they shed like crazy. And since I don't have carpet, the hair and dust has nowhere to go. 
so it'll just lay on top of the floor. And now I'm just going in with my Swiffer and my Lysol and I'm just shining these floors up. I feel like my home is never completely clean until I light a candle and I shine my floors. I love the smell of cleaner on the floor. I just feel like it lingers. And of course, off of camera, I went in with my Windex and I just wiped down all of the glass and the windows in here. And then also my mirror that hangs on the wall. So everything's been tidied up. And now before ending this video, I thought I'd end it with a dinner idea for you guys. So tonight we're going to be barbecuing these thin chops. And it's just very simple and it's like mess free. We're also going to have these brown sugar bushes baked beans. And then I've got some potatoes out because I do plan on making us some baked potatoes. So I went ahead and cleaned off the grill and oiled it up. And now that it's really hot, I'm going to go ahead and add our thin chops. I did add some barbecue seasoning, a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper. And we're just going to let these cook. I am adding some onions and red and green bell peppers just for flavor. The smell alone from the pork chops and then once you add all of this, you can just smell it throughout the whole neighborhood and it smells so good. So I got our baked beans going and I just let this cook on low. I didn't want to rush it. I wanted to get all the flavors. Then I added the barbecue sauce. And then that is what we had for dinner tonight. Really fast and easy. And so that is going to be all for today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.